So today we'll be looking at forces acting on a glider, specifically a paper airplane. There are three main forces of interest. So there's lift, which acts in a slanted forward direction. There's the weight, which comes straight down. And there's drag, which attempts to pull the glider back. Something of interest is actually the angle between the drag force and the horizontal. So it, as you can imagine, if this is a paper airplane, it'll be banked down somewhat. And there's a particular angle between your horizontal and your drag force. And let's call that A. As it just so happens, we have that 1 over the tangent of that angle is equal to the ratio of your lift force to your drag force. So what actually happens when you throw a pair for airplane? So if you have a very high um, angle A, then you have a very low lift to drag ratio, and your plane will go down much faster. On the other hand, if you have a very low angle A, then you have a very high lift to drag ratio, and the plane will go down much slower and essentially travel further distance. And how do we achieve this? We try to minimize drag. If we look at what happens to your drag as you change the speed, you find something that looks like this. And as you can see, if you throw your plane at a very low speed or a very high speed, you end up with a lot of drag, so your plane won't travel as far. But there is a point where if you come down from either side, you'll reach a local minimum. And that's the point that you want if you want your paraphernalia airplane to travel the furthest. Mm -hmm.